Hi, this is Maggie, and I'm going to show you something. If you think about tuning a piano and you want to tune all the notes, you can't just tune octaves because if I go up like all by C's, then I only have C's. How do I get the rest of the notes? How do I choose other notes from one note? Well, if you go up by fifths, you eventually hit all the notes, right? Just like going around the circle of fifths. Well, what if we did that? What if we started on F and we went up a fifth? And tune this. We learned about coincident partials and how to line them up to tune, and we can tune them to make them beatless. I talked a little bit about that. I'll talk about that more soon, but uh, but what if we tuned a pure fifth, and I'm going to explain that more later too, but a pure fifth, and then we could tune another pure fifth, because that's kind of easy to do, but then I've got this G, so I've gone F to C, C, G, and then I can bring that C, G down an octave, right? So there I've got a G, then I could go up another fifth, then I could go up another fifth. Oh look, I can bring that down an octave. Hey, I'm getting all my notes this way, right? So I'm going to go up another fifth. I'm going to tune up another fifth. And then I can bring that down an octave. We're going to hit all our notes this way. Okay, so, so now I can go up another fifth. I don't want to get too crazy, so let me just come down an octave now. And then I can start that whole process over again. So I'm going to go up a fifth. And up a fifth. And down an octave. And then up a fifth fifth, and down an octave, and up a fifth. I hit all the notes. I've done it. Oh dear, that does not sound good. I think we have a problem. Well, hmm, if I tuned out in all fifths, that doesn't sound good. Oh dear. Well, this is a problem. We have to fix this. Why does this problem exist and what's the fix? The fix is temperament. More on that later. The problem has to do with what I mentioned in my last video about how natural fifths are a bit wide to fit into octaves. I'll be explaining this a little at a time. What I want to cover next is the Pythagorean comma. There are several videos I like on this subject, and I'll add my favorites to my playlist. A comma is a space, kind of like the space a comma brings to a sentence. For our purposes, this space is the difference between two specific pitches or frequencies that are less than a half step or semitone apart. I'll define the Pythagorean comma in more detail later. The example most used by piano tuners for the Pythagorean comma is to tune first octaves, then fifths from bottom to top on a piano, starting and ending on the same note. Because natural fifths are wider than what can fit with natural octaves, the top notes won't match. The one derived from fifths is slightly sharp compared to the one derived from octaves. Just for fun, I did this with my spinet. Notice the top notes I play at the end of this next segment. In order for us to compare them, I used the A sharp key tuned to A for my last fifth.
The difference you hear between those last two notes is the Pythagorean comma. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, corrections, suggestions, please shoot me an email at maggie at or comment below. Thanks for watching.